This demo will showcase Data Loader Basics to help you better navigate inside of the tool. Once we're on the landing page, we log into Data Loader using our Salesforce credentials. Data Loader uses OAuth2, which means no signups or security tokens is required. Here we will select what environment we want to access and click Login. We will list our Salesforce credentials and click Login to Salesforce. When first logged in, you will see a Getting Started page where you will have access to the demo videos, documentation, and other integration solutions and information about MuleSoft, the company that powers Data Loader. Let's go back to the main page of Data Loader. Here we will see the tasks we've created, and here we can search for the tasks as well as filter them by the imports, exports, deletes, and scheduled tasks. When the task is selected, on the right, we can view the history of the runs for that task. We can also filter the history by the successful runs and the ones with errors. On the top of the screen, we will see a new task. This is the starting point to import, export, and delete data in Salesforce. On the top right, we will find an info icon from where you have access to the documentation and demo videos. A forum where you can ask any questions, post ideas, and help others to use Data Loader and email support, which is available for professional and enterprise users. From the menu on the right, we can access the same resources as well as see the account settings. Here we can find information, such as when the account was created, number of tasks we've run, and number of rows processed. From here, we can also enable a Salesforce Canvas app and use Data Loader directly from our Salesforce organization. With a Canvas UI, Salesforce administrators can have full control on which users from their organization can use dataloader.io. On the date and time page, we will be able to set the date format as well as the time zone that Data Loader will use as a default for all tasks. On the connections page, we can see the connections we've created as well as add the new ones. In this demo, we are using an enterprise edition of dataloader.io so you can see that we have multiple Salesforce connections available. And if we go to the subscription page, we will see information about our subscription as well as our subscription limits. Users who have subscriptions will be able to modify their payment information here. Today we've shown you a basic tour of dataloader.io. If you want to learn more about how to import, export, or delete data in Salesforce, you can follow one of these links. Thank you.